welcome to day three. Glad to have you. So I don't know about you, but whenever I'm learning something new that's web-related, and this could be a tool or a library or a framework like Laravel, I don't know, no matter how much experience I have, I always turn back into that absolute beginner who just wants to learn how to make a a simple three-page layout. And it makes sense. uh, If you think about it, if you can figure out how that works, you instantly know a lot. You understand how the life cycle of a request works within the context of your new framework. And that means a lot. All right. So in that spirit, we're going to do it again. We're going to build that simple, basic, uh, laughable three-page layout using Laravel. Let's get started. All right, so here's where we left off at the end of day two. We have a uh, default route for the home page, and then we added a second one for the about page. And if you did the homework, you should also have a third route for a contact page. But if not, that's okay. We can do it together. Route, get, contact, and this will load a view called contact. Okay, so now we have home, about, contact, and then corresponding views. But notice how we're still using the the name welcome uh, that ships with the framework by default. Why don't we rename this to index or how about home? All right, so if I update that name, I also have to update the view. Home. All right, and here's what I'm going to do. I will visit the about page and copy all of this and paste it in. And if alarm bells are going off for you, Good job. We will fix that shortly. But for now, we're going to create uh, a bit of duplication. So hello from the home page. Hello from the about page. And then we also need a new one for the contact page. So I will duplicate this. And this will say hello from the contact page. All right. So update uh, a few values here. And there we go. Let's give it a shot in the browser. All right, so we have the default home page. We have an about page. And then finally, a contact page. But of course, we don't want to manually update the URI in the address bar each time. So let's add our first simple navigation area. We'll do it at the top. We'll call it nav. And then I will nest three links. The first one goes to the home page. The next one goes to the about page. And of course, the third one goes to contact. All right, so it's not going to be pretty, but if we go back to the home page and give it a refresh, we see some basic links here. All right, so now, at least from the home page, I can quickly access about or contact. But yeah, of course, the moment we load that new uh, view, we lose our navigation area. So yeah, if, if you're a beginner, here's what we all did. We just pasted it in crossed our fingers and hoped for the best like this. And yeah, it is true. That would work. But clearly, we can all see this does not scale and it's not the best idea. All right. So instead, we're going to reach for layout files. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to update the file name of each of these views to include the blade suffix. So notice it's the name of the view dot blade dot php and we talked about this a little bit in day two blade is laravel's templating engine think of it as a thin layer on top of php and ultimately when you load the file in the browser it all gets compiled down but yeah it's, it's like a small layer on top that gives you some extra goodies uh, it gives you some helpers some shortcuts uh directives which we'll learn about in the future as well as layout files or master files uh, as you might know them So I'm going to update all of these. One more. And yeah, if I switch back to the browser, nothing will change, at least uh, from the end user's point of view. So there's home, about, contact. It all works. But now, yeah, we can upgrade our code base. So I will create a new directory here, and I'm going to call it components. Uh, This directory name is important, by the way. If you're not familiar with that term, think of it as any kind of reusable block uh, that could be referenced in multiple places around your application. Uh, A task, a menu, a dropdown uh, item, a layout file, uh, a card, a message, an avatar, any of these would be just fine. So notice how I said layout. Well, layout is a component. And when we create a file within this directory, 
it's a signal to Laravel that it should be treated as a component. So let's do that now. And again, don't forget to add that blade suffix there. A lot of people forget that, uh, at least initially. All right, so what I will do is I will take all of this wrapping code and I will instead place it within this layout file here. All right, so this looks pretty good to me, except for this final line here that, of course, is unique to the home page. But we'll fix that in just a minute. So here's what I'll do. I'm going to return to my home view, delete it entirely. So now if I come back to Safari and reload the home page, of course, I don't see anything at all. And that would make sense. But now I want to reference our layout file. And we do it like this. We interact with it as if it were a custom HTML tag. So what's the name of the tag? Well, you gave it a name when you created the file, in this case, layouts. So we always start components with X dash to ensure that they're unique and they don't uh, interfere with existing HTML tags. And then we reference the name of the component. All right, and that's it. This is really cool. So if I come back and give it a refresh, sure enough, we are loading that layout file, which is great. All right, so now if I return to layout.blade, maybe now we can get rid of this section here that doesn't belong in the layout file. It belongs in the unique view. I will cut that, come back to home, and yeah, what do we do? Do we just paste it in here? Well, yes, but if I come back to the browser and refresh, I'm not gonna see it here. And that's because, well, we're doing it properly, but within the layout file, we have to explicitly declare where uh, that H1 tag should be slotted in, so to speak. So where should we put it? Where do we slot it? We slot it right here. That's where I, I, I effectively want to copy and paste uh, anything within this layout tag directly here. All right, so uh, with Laravel, there is a variable name that's always available to you called slot. So I could do, well, I'll show you the long form way, and then we will use some of the blade helpers. But yeah, I could open up PHP and then echo this variable called slot. All right, come back to the browser, give it a refresh, and it works. All right, so are we all on the same page? This is really important. If you don't understand anything here, please ask a question in the comments below. We have created a new component for a layout file. Some people call them master files, that works too. Now, the layout file is almost like the structure for your application. It's all the surrounding markup. It's the head tag. It's any scripts or style sheets you need to import. It's the general structure. It's the navigation area. It's the footer. And then typically, you have a main section that will always be unique for each page. So we will define the structure, and then we will slot in any page-specific markup. Okay, so here's our home view. Notice how much cleaner all of this is. I can replace the contact page with hello from the contact page and then about, and we are removing all of that duplication, which is really great. All right, so come back, give it a refresh, home, about, contact. And now if I ever want to add a fourth page, maybe something like meet, uh, meet the team, notice I can update the navigation area within a single file rather than manually updating every single view where we pasted that markup. Uh, it's clearly the way to go. But I'll come back and remove that. Okay, so I'm gonna finish up by showing you your first uh, blade helper. So yes, I can open up PHP and echo out this slot. Because we're using Blade, we can instead create two opening and two closing curly braces. So this directly translates to PHP, echo, and then whatever variable you provide, in this case, slot. So notice if I come back and refresh, we get the exact same thing because it is the same thing. Uh, behind the scenes, your Blade code is being compiled to vanilla PHP. So yeah, for now, when you're first learning, whenever you see those braces in your head, Translate that to PHP echo slot. This one's just easier and more common to write. All right, great. So yeah, think about what you accomplished here. For day three, you learned how to build your first simple three-page layout. And listen, I get it. I know it's super basic, but it's a rite of passage anytime you're learning something new. And you should be proud of yourself. This is really cool stuff. And you also had your first introduction to components and layout files, which is super powerful and very prominent in the Laravel community. So you need to learn it.
All right, so what about your homework for day three? Um, if you choose to accept it, I would like you to... Hmm, got it. All right, so we worked on this navigation area, right? I want you to extract each anchor tag into its own component. Or I want you to create a Laravel component called nav-link, and that'll be a file, and you have to figure out where does that file go. And within that file, I want you to paste that anchor tag that we have here. But you got to remember, you can't also paste the label or the name uh, for the anchor tag. That part will need to be dynamic. So you will need to leverage slots just like we did in this video. All right, see if you can figure that out, and then I will see you in day four.